All right, there's my timestamp. Welcome back, everyone, for episode 12 of Alpha to Omega. The Amarians are in control. Let's get them undocked and see if they can get good. If you want to keep up with Alpha to Omega, the sheet is linked down below the video. Or for those of you watching this live on Twitch, you can see the document in Twitch chat now. Let's get into Diddle over here. Lemon, I tried playing a CD on my record player, but it just made... Go back up. Horrible screeching, <laughs> screeching noises. Oh no, Lemon. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right, let's go see over here. See what we can find. Ooh. Guys. Rush Mom just texted me. She ordered me the book that uh, Brisk Rubal was recommending. Said it'll be on the way. It's it's uh, It pre-orders on the 4th, so I'm guessing I'm going to get it on the 4th. I'm coming from Amazon. It's another Brandon Sanderson novel. Let's go to KB7. I agree, human. I'm going to have to text her back later when I can. I was talking to her on the phone yesterday, and she'd asked if I had a chance to read the books that she had sent me for Christmas and my birthday, and I said, yeah. I've got my eyeball on another one I'm going to order soon. And she asked for the link and preferences for hardback and whatnot. Apparently, the book's been out in digital format. Um, Tress of the Emerald Sea, I think is the name of the title of it. And uh, I was giving Brisk a hard time. I'm like, Brisk, this is, this is digital only. He's like... Embrace it, Rush. Get on board. Like, no, I refuse. <laughs> so I found the hardback, and it comes out, uh, what, how many weeks? Three weeks from now, basically. Let's go to BW. Take a peek over here. Drive active. Elderwolf, imagine not using the free library borrowing on Kindle. Elderwolf, I don't have a Kindle, Elderwolf. And you're such a casual Kindle fan. You haven't even sent one in for, for review. So now we know where Elderwolf really lies. The Fountain Frank guy does have a striking resemblance to Brisket. <laughs> Completely coincidental. Ooh, a new SIG. WC. Nope, this is an old wormhole. Never mind. False alarm. Pull these in. Throwback to when it was cool to put old tapes into a cassette player and listen to all the data. Delicious white noise. Oh, man. The Kindle app works on PC. Why would I want to read a book on my computer? This is getting worse, Elder Wolf. Reveler Sky, newest VIP supporter on Patreon. Reveler Sky, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. We're just uh, answering questions for new players or returning players and... Mocking Elder Wolf's you know, ridiculous posts about using a Kindle. You've collected cassettes. Oh my god, Rhinestone, is it the 80s again? John with a Wormhole PD shout out. Let's go. Wormhole PD. For anyone who's not aware, do yourself a favor and click that link in chat room. All those links in chat. The first one is Vinny's YouTube channel. The second one is his Twitch channel. He should be live in about, just on, well, just over an hour and a half. We'll say 100 minutes. Vinny should be live. We, we've had proof of life from Vinny this morning, which is always encouraging. He'll be uh, bringing wormhole criminals to justice, and if you don't know what that is, basically Vinny kills everyone in a wormhole he can find, and then afterward investigates what they were doing wrong. So make sure to give a follow to YouTube Vinny and Twitch Vinny. Hopefully you'll enjoy. Elder Wolf wants a Patreon shout-out. All right. If you guys want those shiny VIP badges that Elder Wolf and Human are, are showing off, that makes them feel special. If you support on Patreon for 10 or more USD, you get one of the VIP badges. There's a finite number of them. Once they're gone, they're gone. So even if you don't care about the VIP badge, you uh, you can prevent someone else from getting one later on, which is the true value. Also with Patreon, we get to keep 95% of the support there. Unlike Twitch, where we get to keep less than half of it. So if you want to support the channel more directly, Patreon there for any amount. It doesn't have to be VIP. It can be easily less than. We're using the tip button. As Elderwolf did earlier, Elderwolf is nerd of the day. Let's go get that added. Requesting warp to the dance floor earlier. And Elder Wolf went like probably a good 30 minutes without crying about not being on the sheet already. Elder Wolf. There we go. Elder Wolf tip nerd of the day. Chaos bits nerd of the day. And Kruk gifted sub nerd of the day. Thank you all again very, very much. Vinny, I'm just doing my job. Says <laughs> Vinny, they, they fell into my, my line of fire. What do you want from me? UV and XR. So two dead SIGs. 
that over there first. So we'll see what Twitch chat's up to. Some people think I feel bad when they absorb my functions, <laughs> human. <laughs> You're just leading by example, human. That's all it is. I woke up this morning. You don't have to talk about me today, but I just couldn't do it. Couldn't follow through, Elder Wolf. <laughs> Let's put the probes over here. Let's bring these down. We've got two new sigs in the system. Two chances to get good. That's right, human. The dream. Hashtag off my desk. Let's go over this way. Wonder how viable it is to make a Noctis into a ratting and salvaging ship. I think tank is the issue there. I think tank is going to be the big, the big factor. We've got another new sig in local now. The yeah, element, that would be my, my guess. Why would anyone even read this bush kitty? Typical league player. Reveler Sky getting points in for the large skill injector giveaway. Thank you, Reveler Sky. If anybody hasn't done so yet, or doesn't know about it, down below chat there's a red button that says get good. Click it. That will open up your channel point menu and from there you can put points into the community goal. That when it reaches 100% will fire off that giveaway. Another SIG spawns in our local. Easy game. Easy life. Look at them just piling up. Now the first one unfortunately was a data site, but maybe we'll get good here and find us a relic. Let's go here. <laughs> Human. That's the meta. That's how things are done. The Amarian character finally over 100 million isk after reshipping. We're not just doing this for money. Basame sneaking in the resub. We're doing it for a shitload On a three month money. streak, nine months total, Basame. Thank you for the support. Let me go check the timer here. Is the hype train back in station? The hype train is in station. We've got five minutes to find two professional shills. Who are not Basame to type cheer 100, gift a sub, drop a prime, or hit the resub button. Now we had a very early bird unethical giveaway earlier this morning. Level 5 was defeated. The last moment badge of the month went out. But we could still have more unethical giveaways. I know Solstice is out there lurking, waiting to be inspired by more unethical giveaways. We won our own 700 millis giveaway earlier this morning, thanks to Kruk. We gotta see if we can get good. But somebody also getting points in for the LSI giveaway. Taking us to 37%. I was AFK, came back a minute ago. I could sense it, Solstice. Is that strange? Does that make you uncomfortable at all that I can seemingly just feel and sense the disturbances? Once you're fully attuned to the shill power, it's amazing, says Solstice. How did he know? <laughs> he won his own giveaway. He knows when I'm AFK. He knows when I'm back. Solstice is going to drop a dime on us later and accuse us of being Santa Claus. Let's go over here. If I had a mirror, hold on, maybe I can use my phone. I'll get one white beard hair just for Elder or for Solstice. To build up in his own mind. That Santa Claus could be real. Let's flip the camera. Alright, where's the white beard? Oh fuck, this, this camera shit. I can't see my face. Well, we're doing better. Nah, it's not gonna work. They're all in the, 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 the left bottom part of my chin. Now, I, Vinny's probably got him coming out of his fucking ears by now. Vinny probably has more white hairs coming out of his ears and his nose than his head. Let's move the probes over here. League players can read. Definitely not, Lemon. Uh, well, I should say unlikely. Certainly. Definitely. Now, Reveler Sky is correct. All giveaways are rigged. They're all predetermined winners. And when it's not me winning the giveaway, it's one of my alts. Absolutely can confirm. No fair giveaways here. That would be terribly fair. Now the clock is ticking. We've only got two minutes and change. We need one professional shill to cheer 100, gift a sub, drop a prime, or hit the resub button, get clock up on top of chat to create that FOMO and that urgency that Twitch loves so much to get that hype train going. Basame holding open the window for two minutes and change left. Will we find a second professional alt to open up that hype train window? I have a white beard on my right underside of my jaw. Also a bunch of white hairs on your head. Oh, damn, human. That workplace is, is sapping and out of you. Can confirm Amarush Alt. See, Lemon. Verifying the story. Let's go over this way. Prop time. One time will be good. Less than two minutes remain on the hype train window. Will we find a second professional shill to open up the hype train window in time? 
We're in range for the hack. Now, because we're in the Amarian character in the Magnate, we don't have enough mid slots to run a cargo scanner. So, we have to loot everything like a dirty casual. But the Amarian paywall is so great, they might be able to overcome the time investment and still win the challenge. Two. It's a lot of twos. Okay. All right. Polymorphic shield is good. Let's try this one. Nothing down there. Get rid of this one. Oof. Restart the can. Attempt number two. We have one minute and change on the hype train window. Being held open by Basame. Grab the wrench. Oh shit. Oh, this is fine. See? Just tell the game what you need. And it'll give it to you. Easy game. Easy. God. This fucking game. Alright. This is fine. See? I never doubted it. Not for one moment did I question whether or not we're going to hack this can and get 5 million isk from it. Let's go to the second can. Bush Kitty, we know you can read. Writing on the other hand. Damn. Damn. Right, Fonsui? <laughs> J-Rock, what is reading? Alright, ship or can rather is in range. 2 1. Nope, not going that way. 3 2. Well, fuck. Easy game, easy. Fuck, yours to live by. <laughs> How to say you're scanning and hacking an Eve without saying you're scanning and hacking an Eve, right? What the fuck is the core? Fuck. Alright, this is fine. Game is one of us to try twice. And you're left handed. League of Legends, lefty. Doesn't Bushkin need like one more attribute to not even be deemed human? What if Bushkin were a ginger? We'd have to bounce it off Vinny. Or Tim. That's the resident ginger experts. Man, what's wrong with Singe, J-Rock? Singe is a valid choice. Now, I should I preface that with I play uh, ARAM exclusively now. I'm old. Singe and ARAM can be, can be a good time. Just literally run around and cause trouble. That's all you gotta do. Singe is an asshole, says you. <laughs> what did Singe ever do to you? Oh, God. Um, the core is definitely down there. Jesus, this, oh my. That's only our first attempt, thank God. Rush, though, Timo was a good champion. <laughs> Timo is fun, or can be, especially in ARAM. Unless they've nerfed him to hell, I don't know. You're usually the same. Let's go here. Nope, done that way. Oh, God. The game is trying to be stingy with the loot. Give me the tool. Oh, no. Two. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, God. Do we have enough? We're good? Yuck. Two. One. Not a tool. This can will blow up. There's nothing we can do about it. There's no change in play we could have made. But we can be certain there was 100 million discs in that can. That's fine, because no one else is going to get it. Corky with the Earth Rider skin, nothing feels better. That's a good one. That is a good one. Let's keep this in range. Macho Madness says, get good. That's right, seeing cans blow up. Only in the Alpha 2 Omega series can things like this happen. With a dirty Amarian ship. Pretty on the outside, ugly on the inside, blowing up cans. Just doesn't have the... The tools for guaranteed success. Spatial attunements? Jesus. Alright, let's go this way. <laughs> Elder Wolf. J Rock showing his ELO. Wow, Bush Kitty. Wow. That's called <laughs> J Rock getting points in for the LSI giveaway. Thank you, J Rock. Let's keep this in range here. 
You've blocked the Friday Night Lorg. Will the phone be off? Will it be on silent? No life this weekend, that's right. Do not leave the keyboard. Oh, that reminds me. Diablo 4 nerds, do we know what time on Friday the game becomes available? So I probably won't be able to do anything on the weekend, but... The, um, the Friday I'll have a little bit of extra time. Now, if they start like 3 o'clock on Friday, I'm just fucked. There's nothing I'll be able to do about that, but... We'll see how it goes. Yeah, exactly, Lorg. I just don't know if they'd announced it at all. Yeah, that's the open one, Ragnarok. Uh, this weekend, this coming Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, is, is for the pre-orders. The pay to encounter bugs. Shill weekend incoming? Let's go here. Oh no, definitely use the wrench. Oh god. This is horrible. This is even more horrible. This is getting more and more horrible by the moment. Uh, okay. Let me start this cam. Hey, Verse Box. Hope you're doing well. You have zero faith in Blizz after Diablo Immortal. Why would Diablo Immortal have broken your confidence? There seems like a good lot of good reasons to not have confidence in Blizzard, but Diablo Immortal? Like, was there ever any other expectation? Was there some kind of, like, weird camp that I didn't hear about that thought Diablo Immortal wasn't going to be absolutely monetized to hell? I must have missed that, uh, copium position. Alright, these are all shitty data sites. Put them over there. Uh, Y9 goes BW. Let's go over here. Doing well, thank you, Verse, and glad to hear that you are. Does the closed beta have any NDA for streaming purposes? I don't know. I would doubt it, human, but I'll have to check. Acid, I despise restoration nodes. Whenever there's two of the same can, it doesn't deserve to be hacked. Leave it there. <laughs> Immortal was made openly from that exact system in mind and not from an E. Yeah, exactly. What's your view of the Drekovic? I don't have one. I've never, never even flown one of the trig ships. Not from like, ew, I don't like them, just from they don't overlap with my, my typical day-to-day -day activity. Uh, I think that the weapon concept is interesting for Drex with the whole ramp up over time. Are they popular in Abyssals? By chance? I don't know. Is it Drek the Battlecruiser? I, yeah, I don't know. Pay to win model. I lost faith in Blizz after Pandaland, WoW expansion, but then they made Diablo Immortal and showed they could go full pay to win on games going forward. They wanted you, Ragnarok, to appreciate what you have. <laughs> they wanted you, look look how far we could go, but don't. Now, it's not defending Blizzard. That's just giving Ragnarok a hard time. Because I still don't understand this idea of, like, how anyone thought Diablo Immortal was going to be anything else other than what it was. Let's go XHQ. The beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> hey, Remy Main. Uh, the Ikit is good in Abyssal. Huh. Need to get a badger for some hauling missions. So obviously, I bought the BPO for the badger at Tar. <laughs> oh no, Lemon. Oh god. Get in the chief. No buy on local. No sigs that are new. Do you, Jay? Use the Nurgle in the Abyss? <laughs> Fucking bush kitty. I nearly lost my flu. 20 kilometers a second. Do the white cloud. Yep, the speed burst. Hey, Balrogs, good morning. The vroom vroom clouds are funny. That's right. It's the, the manual pilot advanced test. I decided to just look through some cheap contracts the other day. A hundred BPOs purchased later. <laughs> Acid. I'm pretty sure Lemon's been there before. I'm pretty sure Lemon is, is trapped there, in fact. Whenever Lemon loans a giveaway, they're like, oh, cool, I have zero risk, so I can buy more BPOs now. Oh, Lemon, how is the Alpha to Omega Abyssal going? 
if you've had a chance to get back to it. Exactly, Jay. Now, you saw the white cloud, right? Like, do you have any graphical issues where it wasn't there on your side or something? Or is it just like, whoops, wasn't paying attention? Ragnarok says the Drex are good in fleets. Maybe some high sec mission running. I don't know what you could solo in it. Hmm. You spawned into the white cloud. That shouldn't be a thing. Maybe I'm maybe I'm expecting too much, but that seems especially harsh. Have I got a deal for you, Ragnarok? All right, we have found 13, well, probably closer to 10 million so far on this Alpha to Omega run. It's only been running for about 20 minutes so far. We'll see how far we can get into the Pravi here with Manfred out there camping. Alpha to Omega Abyssal is going interesting. Been doing it consistently in T0s of the Kestrel, earning the S to get to that uh, ship for a T1. Do you know what the ship is going to be, Lemon? Do you, have, do you have the progression already planned out, or? Ooh, this system. Oh, the SIGs are, are going away. Tuner is still in local. This place was stacked with sites earlier. Uh, NR goes to IW. Put these in tripwire. Delete the old. That level 4 dying here. None of these were new. Okay, good. Going the Hadari missile route via dark, so Hookbill. Hookbill is so good for it. In terms of accessibility and effectiveness. Lost two thirds of my hawks. It was stupid to spawn into them. There was absolutely nothing. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not a big fan of any design element that has no interaction, like no counterplay. It's just spawn in and die. Like, well, okay. It is human, absolutely. Hey, Blitz, good morning. Got a fresh new poop in row. Oh, oh, oh. And you're going to head for the worm heat. That makes sense. Absolutely, Lemon. Too horrible to imagine. Lorg, I watched a non-story spoiler class breakdown. I'm now locked in on Barb. There we go, Lorg. We're going to live the Barb life. We can compare notes. Oh, Lorg, I heard from Kruk that last epoch has reached 0.9 update status or whatever. It's still early access, but they've added multiplayer and trading. I mean, it's been on my watch list forever, but I will, I will definitely be paying closer attention now that they have multiplayer. And what is Last Epoch? It's an action RPG. It's been in development for years. Uh, Eric Thompson, if you remember him from, from Marvel Heroes days, has, has always gushed about it. He put me on to Grim Dawn as well, which I enjoyed Grim Dawn a lot too. Uh, Last Epoch, is it spelled correctly, I think? But search it on Steam, slap it on your watch list or whatever, and keep an eye out for it. Because it has a high degree of customizability for individual skills. And so I'm wondering if we can rebuild some Marvel Heroes characters in there later. You didn't like Grim Dawn so much that you refunded it, and it's the only game you ever refunded. How, Lorg? What did you do? You played Wolston. Like... Oh, here comes Future Kill Wolston is cool. Wolston had potential. And maybe they, maybe they polished it up. I don't know. But Wolston at launch was rough. You have no idea, Lord. Don't even remember what, what put you off. Huh. I was I was in on uh, Grim Dawn as soon as I saw guns. I was like, wait, I get a gun? I get two guns? Let's go. That's possible, Lord. Yeah, there could have been a lot of hype going into it. And then mods fix it up. I've heard that, Future Kill, yeah. <laughs> Ragnarok? I wouldn't. Grim Dawn's a lot of fun if you like the customizability. If you like the flexibility of it. You're not a gun goth guy? Well, it's not all I played. I just thought it was interesting to have guns in there at all. Um, I think I ended up playing like a shaman something else hybrid. I basically tried to build the Duracell build from Rift back in the day of just AoE self-heal. AoE self-heal with melee attacks. Like, um, swipe, swipe, swipe. Heal, heal, heal. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Everything's dead. And then have some kind of spender as a single target ability. I do know Diablo 4 is coming means not much E for a little while. Yeah, definitely future kill. I want to put some extra time into that for sure. Van Helsing is cool. Yeah, I, I do like Van Helsing. Uh, you just have to be in the mood for a single player ARPG, which sometimes we are. You want heroic? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Lorg's a paladin, guys. That's why he's not like Grim Dawn. I don't know if they had a paladin class.
Same reason Bloodborne's visuals didn't really hype me much, despite the game being good, yeah. So I want my Lashak, but building it off the blueprint is tedious and the ship is expensive. What's the hole cost, Jay? Is the is the expensive part the hole or the fit? Or both? I am that schmucky heroic idiot lord. You should try the 440k mod for Grim Dawn. I haven't heard about that one in Future Kill. That does sound interesting. So we're going to check 4B and then probably die. Let's actually go peek into um, Nine Fob real quick. Take a look over here. Oh, I think Lorg and I both tried the 40k action RPG, because I think he recommended it to me. But I haven't had time to, to put more into it since it came out. Oh wait, I can play this game and never see another person. I <laughs> look into this one! Captain America, Paladins, Paragon, playing idiot work. <laughs> I thought we liked Captain America for the, the smooth gameplay. That we're never going to see again. The 40k action RPG was fun. I enjoyed what little I got to see of it. I have enjoyed the Warhammer the one, though. And that was that one got shit on pretty hard. But I'm also very biased for having the ability to pick a dwarf and just run around and, and kill things. Rip the super soldier build, right? Alright, nobody here. The SIG is a data site. Let's go into G5. Put this on ignore. The whole loan is uh, 650 mil. The fit's about the same. Damn. And that's the cheap build. What's the use for it, Jay? What is that the shack used for? For old school, how about Titan Quest? I have heard nothing but good things about Titan Quest. Nothing but good things. I own it because I like Steam sales and such, but I haven't ever had the opportunity to set time aside for it. Let's crash this gate here, prop mod on. But yeah, Titan Quest I've always heard really good things for. Swap these out. Had an insane uh, something attack speed. Oh, improve, or probably increased attack speed. A move speed build. That sounds fun to me. I like I like those types of setups. Let's go over here. These right. skins. Good. So we can go into Wiso. Beat Mansford to Wiso. Maybe we've been through 4B. He's still in local. Not very warped, so. So the bar will have four weapons equipped, huh? But only two in hand, though, right? So like they hot key through them or something, or let's go here. No man for the local, so four B should be clear for the moment. Maybe we can get the Amarian character deep in the Pravi and then uh, extract them in downtime tomorrow. I like dots builds or reflect builds. I always like the concept of a future kill and then understandingly they have to balance them and then it gets, you know, a bit limiting. But if you have a spender, if you have something for like single target damage that's really good, then it makes sense too. I like the reflect builds, especially if you're tanky. So like, just wade into a bunch of mobs and let them kill themselves basically. And... PvP run, oh, gotcha. Gotcha, J-Rock. Got my first PvP kills, three Vargers, an Ishtar, and a Vexor before you pop, damn. Three Vargers. Ah, oh, shit. Mansford's here now. And he's on gate. Let's go down UI. Drive nope, there's the bubble. <laughs> it was a good run. There's the web. Saw you in uh, Wiso. Thought, I can make it. <laughs> Alright, we're going to reship here. We'll get a timestamp 